Hi, I'm Kyle from the Whatcom County Public Works Stormwater Division, and I'm here to help you get familiar with the basic components of your stormwater system. Whether you are a commercial development or homeowners association that owns your stormwater system, it is important to keep your system functioning properly to help prevent pollution. Just like a vehicle, regular inspections and maintenance will extend the life of your system. Here is an overview of some of the basic components of a stormwater system. When rain, sleet, hail, or snow hits our roofs, driveways, roads, or other hard surfaces, it can't be absorbed, so it runs off these surfaces toward the street and into catch basins, also commonly called storm drains. A catch basin, or storm drain, is a large square in the ground, often located in the street, along a curbside covered by a grate. Its purpose is to catch rainfall or surface runoff from properties and streets and remove some of the sediment before it flows out and through the rest of the system. Your stormwater system is also made up of a series of pipes, culverts, ditches, and swales. Their job is to keep the water moving. Pipes are used to carry stormwater underground, connect catch basins, and allow the water to turn corners. Culverts are pipes that are used to route water under roads and driveways to connect ditches. Ditches can be U-shaped, trapezoidal, or have a flat bottom, and they are commonly lined with grass or rock. Swales look like a wide, vegetated ditch and are designed to move water at a slow speed with the added benefit of improving water quality. The last component in a stormwater system is a pond. Some stormwater ponds are designed to mimic natural wetland systems. Wetlands protect us from water pollution and flooding, and if working correctly, so will your stormwater pond. Your pond may consist of a single cell or multiple cells that hold water. There are both wet and dry stormwater ponds. Wet ponds have a permanent pool of water throughout the year, at least during the rainy months. Dry ponds have less storage space and hold water temporarily after a storm. Regardless of the type of pond you have, their purpose is to remove sediment and other pollutants before flowing to our local waterways. Stormwater ponds will also have a large catch basin on the downstream end that contains something called a control structure. The control structure is another important piece because it allows water to flow out of the system at a controlled rate, which approximates the rate water would have left the site before it was developed. Ponds can be a complex part of your stormwater system and they're all a little different. So it's a good idea to get familiar with the features specific to your pond. We understand that this is a lot of information to remember. So we've put together a free stormwater manual that you can reference at any time on our website. The manual also includes an inspection schedule and checklist, which you can use to help keep track of your inspections and maintenance. If you have questions or would like free assistance, please reach out to us. We can help you find copies of important documents that will support your understanding of your system and your responsibilities as the owner. Now that you understand the parts that make up your stormwater system, check out the next videos in the series to learn how to inspect and maintain your stormwater facilities.